Won't you please <clears throat> pray with me? May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be always acceptable to you, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. You'll always have someone to love you, no matter what. These are words of comfort from one of my childhood heroes, Mr. Fred Rogers. This particular quote is from one of the many public service announcements designed by Mr. Rogers to help ease the fears and anxieties of young children and to help them talk about their feelings during troubled times. And as we begin this next week, and many schools across the state are resuming some form of education, and some parents are preparing to homeschool for the first time, it seemed to me that everyone in our communities, parents, teachers, administrators, bus drivers, school staff, and especially our students, all could benefit from some additional prayers and maybe this reminder from Mr. Rogers. You'll always have someone to love you, no matter what. My friends, even though our contemporary culture sends us many, many conflicting messages about how we can respond when we're feeling anxious or fearful or unsafe and threatened, I hope to remind you this morning that there are many other ways to approach conflict and disagreement and stress and frustration and uncertainty. We can approach these things with compassion and love. Two very powerful action words that are often seen as passive, weak, ineffective, or maybe even countercultural. Michael G. Long, in his book, Peaceful Neighbor, I have it right here, Discovering the Countercultural Mr. Rogers, says the following about this contemporary icon. Mr. Rogers was a quiet but strong American prophet who with roots in progressive spirituality invited us to make the world into a countercultural neighborhood of love, a place where there would be no wars, no racial discrimination, no hunger, no gender-based discrimination, no killing of animals for food, and no pillaging of the earth's precious resources. A little bit later in the book, Long says that Mr. Rogers understood all this countercultural counter work as part and parcel of his vocation as a Presbyterian minister, a minister called to embody and, and enact the unconditional and expansive love of God revealed in Jesus of Nazareth. In fact, Rogers sought to ensure that his work of creating peacemakers was a faithful continuation of the ministry of Jesus, an ongoing effort to create the peaceful and just reign of God on earth. He continues, Mr. Rogers devoted his life and ministry to the goal of encouraging us, adults and children, to become prophets and peacemakers committed to making our neighbors bastions, neighborhoods bastions of compassion. You'll always have someone to love you, no matter what. As I read portions of this book this week, it seems to me that the recipe, if you will, for Mr. Rogers' message comes straight from our scripture readings this morning. Jesus, anticipating that we would have difficulties getting along with one another and remaining in community together, he gave us clear directions about how to resolve our disagreements and to live together in peace and harmony. And Paul, in his letter to the Romans, reminds us that love does no wrong to a neighbor and that it is time to lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Compassion and love lived out in our communities, in our neighborhoods, according to those countercultural instructions of Jesus of Nazareth, or the admon admonitions of Paul to the Romans, or even the kind and gentle words of the Reverend Fred Rogers. Compassion and unconditional love can pave the road to a new way for us to be together in peace and harmony 
even when we disagree. So that in these moments, when we need to hear it the most, we can be reassured that you'll always have someone to love you, no matter what. So my friends, let us make haste this week to pray for one another and to be gentle with one another. May we be especially kind and compassionate. Maybe listen more often than we speak. Perhaps we can exercise just a little bit more patience and extend grace whenever we are able. And may we always remember how important it truly is to be swift to love. You'll always have someone to love you, no matter what. Amen. Now, returning to our slides this morning, I have a link that I'd like to share, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. So if it doesn't work, I have a backup plan. I don't know. I don't know how well it works to try to link to a YouTube video when we're streaming to YouTube.